It's 2.15. I'm going to call the meeting to order. Uh, roll call. Eldridge. I, hate yeah. I, hate, I, feel like, I feel odd when I call you by your last name. That's fine. I've been called a lot worse than that. <laughs> yeah. And Smith is here, but I hate to start doing that. Okay. Um, we're going to write it to non-public, Matt. I make a motion to go into non-public session 1, RSA 91A32B. And session two, RSA 91A32E. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, roll call, Eldridge? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Smith, yes. 215. I'll make a motion to re enter the public meeting. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Make a motion to seal the non public minutes of session one and session two. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 315. Okay, we're back in the public meeting. Abatement here for a water excess water usage of thirty thousand. I don't even know what it's a thirty thousand water meter. I guess thirty thousand gallons. It was investigated by the water sewer department. It was recommended to be denied due to a leak that's beyond no control of the water department. It was on their side of the meter. I make a motion to deny this water and sewer abatement from Map ninety three lot six. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a, this is a selectman's deed. This was for 190 Chickville Road, map 242, lot 28. This was the property that was auctioned off. What was that last week, Matt? Yes. Yeah, it was last Monday. I'll make a motion to approve this selectman's deed. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Matt, you want this back now? Yes, or? please. I'm going to take that and file it tomorrow and uh, get it out of the town's name yep. immediately. They finished up pretty quick here. They're out, what, four days? Yeah, it's the quickest ever. Andrew was well prepared for them. Good. Things are clean and well organized. It was good. Pretty. Usually they're here like seven days, so it's getting shorter and shorter. Now. They'll, I mean, there's more work to do. They'll ask for some stuff because of the Whittier Covered Bridge and the amount of federal funds that we've had come and go. We have to do this extra step of the audit, which is required when you get federal money. So the, that'll take them some time, but they were complimentary on how things have been running. Good. Yeah. That is a good thing. I got nothing else in the red folder here except for stuff for downstairs. Yeah. You have anything, Sue? Yeah, I'm on I got mine downstairs. When you get to me, I have a couple of Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so I did print out expenditure and revenue reports for 2022 full year. Um, those, Andrea tells me, there'll probably be just a few more things that post for 22, so those might change a little bit, but they should be mostly complete. You'll notice we, uh, I think it's on page 11, uh, totals the, the overall general fund, and we actually had about a 6% uh, surplus. Um, which is absolutely fantastic considering we level funded and, and in fact reduced the municipal tax portion of the tax bill. We still are able to give a bunch of money to the unassigned fund balance and then directly back to the taxpayer. It's good. So Very wise nice. wise Very spending. I wish TJ was here to give credit because he does a lot of that. So. Yes. That's very nice. Yep. Yeah. Um, another thing. Again, TJ's not here, so I'm sure we'll revisit it, but we get the uh, commitment letter and the um, estimate for household hazardous waste day from Lakes Region Planning. 
again, it's going to be like, I'm going to say five grand. It's like forty nine sixty. I'm not sure if we were going to participate at all this year. If we were, I think we decided we didn't want to be the host anymore because there's associated costs to it that aren't part of that total, but it's like staffing and... Yeah, I thought the conversation was that it was going to be hosted by another municipality. That's probably yeah. true. Um, I just wanted to be clear that they emailed us the commitment letter, which any town that participates in from the cost standpoint would would sign. So I didn't print it out yet. I wasn't sure if we were participating at all. What is the deadline for that to be signed? Do you know? I don't know. We've been late before on because we wanted to discuss it more internally. So I can print it, but I, I thought it warranted Yeah, that's... We're going to talk to TJ about it because yeah, he's exactly. the one that actually runs that on the Saturday. Yeah. But I recall that we weren't going to host it going forward. There's another municipality who's going to take it over. Yeah. That's what I, yeah, that's that's what I recall. I got an inquiry from one of the departments here about milestone anniversaries with the town. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. I, I, I'm not aware of any program we've had in place to do any special rewards or, or recognition or, or compensation when people hit milestones. I think that's a nice thing to think about, but I, I'm not aware that we've done that in the past, and I just want to make sure that, I know, Martha, you were the town administrator a long time. Like, that's not a program I'm aware of, right? Okay. I'm not. We didn't do anything. But my, my feeling is that if, if a department head wants to do something small, it should be up to a department head, but I don't necessarily think the Board of Selectmen or me as your agent have to do something every single time. I agree. An anniversary. Yeah. Okay. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you. in the red folder. You want me to recess or you want yes. a few more time? Fine. Okay, I'll make a motion to recess until 4 15. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 321. Okay, it's 4 15. That's the I'm going to reconvene the meeting. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. First public input. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing today? Okay, we're going to move on to well, the... Yep. Go ahead, Frank. One thing. I, we first walked in here t tonight, Dallas and I. It was a real musty smell. Oh, really? Oh, really bad. Uh, it's not so bad now. Hmm. But I checked all these heaters all the way around, and I'm a plumber. Yeah. The filters have got to have been cha changed. I don't even know how they're working. They're so filthy. You just actually had them fully serviced not long ago because they were so clogged. But they're clogged now. I won't, won't, won't. The top part, the uh, where the grating is, yep. that's all starting to clog yep. up too. I'm at, you got a note for that to tell Public Works? We'll have to take a look at it. Thanks. Well, what it'll what it'll do yep. if you, you keep you should be changed with such a big area here. Plus, I know they have the same heaters out in the other rooms. It'll normally if you keep them clean, like once a month, clean them, right? Just yeah. put new filters in. It'll probably knock your heating bill almost in half okay. because they're not working right now. Yeah. All right, we'll take a look at it. I just put my hand on it. I can hear the fan running and yeah. probably even moving. Good. But you can t right there. You look. Oh, well. oh, yeah. Well, they're all bad yeah. in here. We'll take so care I'm of them. i the other ones yeah. too. Okay. Ready? Got that one? Okay, thanks. All right, good. Okay, Martha. Red folder. Okay, check out your totals for week meeting February 11th with the payday of February 14th. Total payroll was $44,463.29. Accounts payable was $83,850. $41. Fire precincts were paid this week 
$1,142,822.11. School payment went out this week, $1,215,775. Ambulance was paid for $33,462.98. Water department, $1,270.73. Sewer department, $1,659.95. The Whittier Bridge Fund is $18,349.94. Total fund payments was $1,543,787.36. Make a motion to approve this. Second. Aye. Uh, the Slutman's regular meeting for Monday, February 6th, minutes. Make a motion to approve these. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, the Slutman's workshop session for February 6th, minutes. Make a motion to approve these. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a request for a clerical abatement, Map 29, Lot 1, Sub 390, in the amount of $622, assessing recommended grant. I make a motion we approve this clerical abatement. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a request for a clerical abatement, Map 29, Lot 1, sub 358, in the amount of $415. I make a motion we approve this clerical abatement. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Request for a clerical abatement, Map 29, Lot 1, sub 374, in the amount of $413. I make a motion we approve this clerical abatement. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a sewer warrant in the amount of $1,962. I make a motion we approve this sewer warrant. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have another, this is a water and sewer warrant in the amount of $40. I make a motion we approve this water sewer warrant. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a supplemental warrant in the amount of $622. I make a motion we approve this supplemental warrant. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have another supplemental warrant in the amount of $6,440. And I make a motion we approve this supplemental warrant. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, I have a supplemental tax warrant for Map 93, Lot 26, in the amount of $1,403. Make a motion to approve that. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have another supplemental tax warrant in the amount of Map 266, Lot 3, in the amount of $11,737. Make a motion to approve that. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Another supplemental tax warrant for Map 263, Lot 3, in the amount of $2,237. $2 Make a motion to approve that. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a supplemental tax warrant for Map 137, Lot 8, in the amount of $550. Make a motion to approve that. 
Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a supplemental tax warrant from Map 127, Lot 9, in the amount of $8,336. Make a motion to approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You should have grouped them all together for one motion, but I did it fast, so. I have a notice of decision from the Planning Board for Tax Map 7, Lot 11, Case Number 23-01 SPR. Rob Troon and Elwood Malarkey of TM Enterprises were granted a final site plan review for the Carroll County Boxing Club Rockin' Wellness Facility. New business coming in up on the corner of 41 and 16. Was that West Ossipi? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hope that they don't. Yeah, we do. Yeah. My son goes to East Ten and he does the fitness boxing and stuff up there. Well, Conway? Drive all the way to Albany. Yeah. My wife does it. That is, Where if that there's is. not enough around and any kid stuff you can do, it's it's going to be good to have it. Too. Good. I was at the meeting. It was quite interesting. I'm excited yeah. they're coming south. It's yeah, cool. it'll be good. Um, any old business? Nothing? Just an announcement. Granite Road, the big... Repair on that culvert pipe is way ahead of schedule, and there is a possibility of it opening sooner than later, but right now the detour is in full effect. So we'll know more tomorrow. It's going really well. The for whole yep. There is, let's see, well, let me go to second public input, I guess. Yeah, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Guess, any more public input? No? Okay. Budget committee public hearing is the 15th, this Thursday at 7 o'clock at this location. In case anybody wants to attend, this is when you should ask all your questions on the budget going forward to town meeting. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Wednesday, to, Wednesday the 15th. Yeah, I said, I said Thursday? Yeah. Wednesday the 15th, I'm sorry. The budget committee meets at 6.30 with the public hearing. That's correct. And it's right here. Yeah. Um, I have a big announcement. We have chosen a new police chief. Um, it's conditional based on a few uh, items that need to be met. He's got to transfer his certification. He has to conduct a full background check and just some other logistical things that have to come through. His name is Donald Babin. Um, he's got over 20 years in law enforcement. He's got quite an impressive resume. He was the finalist of 14 that we had apply. Um, his latest assignment is out in Hardin, Montana, he's coming from. He left Brunswick, Georgia to start the department out in Hardin, Hardin Montana from scratch. So he built this department of 10 officers from zero. He formed it. It's fully operational. Uh, but he wants to come back to the Northeast because his family's here. He's from the area, from the Northeast, and he wants to come back to his family. Prior to in Hardin, he was a lieutenant in Brunswick, Georgia Police Department. He had 80 sworn law enforcement officers and 10 professional support staff under him. Um, he was also the canine commander, and he rose through the ranks in that department, from private to corporal to sergeant, ultimately to lieutenant. So um, he's got quite an impressive resume. Uh, he went he's certified by the FBI Lead Academy, so he's been there. Um, so we look forward to welcoming a new chief, hopefully within the next three to four or five months. He'll be fully on board, up and running. Is he still in Montana? He's still in Montana. Okay. Yep. I was wondering when he'd be able to meet him. Well, he's got some logistical things that he, before he can get here, so we're anticipating... You better get home soon. Yeah, three to four months, we're figuring. So I'm just... I'm surprised never, never coming here or not being from here that he would just... Oh, he is. His family's from the Northeast. He but I, Northeast is a big area, yeah. man. Yeah, I'm Talking about here. He's from Massachusetts. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But he was one of 14. Quite impressive, so we're looking forward to it. Yep. Yeah. Anything else from the board? Matt, nothing? Anything else? One last to the public? No? So you'll hear more about this as it progresses. Uh, next meeting, there is no meeting on the 20th. It's a holiday. The 27th would be the next meeting, but I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be out of town. And I believe the town administrator is going to be out of town, so it'll be up to the board if you guys want to have a meeting or not. Um, 
I did, I did have one question. Sure, yeah. Did you ever find out anything about the BTLA meeting? Still waiting. Okay, we're halfway through February, that's all. <laughs> it's on your time, not ours. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah. I heard February. You know. Well, it's on them, not us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the 27th, if there's a meeting, it's up to you guys. You, I guess, stand by, watch for an agenda to come out if there is. If not, the next one will be in March. The first Monday in March. Okay, nothing further. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 428.